what's happening thanks for stopping back by for this very exciting episode where today we're actually in a ford going to pick up a dodge instead of the other way around that was broke that's jeep. i just wanted to start well well normally though it's a dodge driving me around to fix the. do you know what jeep parts. stands for just empty every pocket yep. <laughs> <laughs> and so today though in the last video uh tom made a decision to buy a jasper engine and as you can see it isn't so nice out and today it's very very wet it isn't snow which is incredible because it'd be a lot of snow but it isn't exactly the most prime working conditions to be outside so we're having the engine well i say we really it's this man over here having the engine uh swapped and we're about to go pick it up it was also fun you didn't know this but you could drive a jeep on five and a half cylinders something like that yeah one four and a half one completely dead and a couple that are basically worthless so, so almost four so you know uh five and a half sounds Ish. right yeah so that's what we did previously now we're gonna go pick it up and see what a jasper engine's like Woo! there it is man it even looks new hey look at that awesome new hood latch yeah. <laughs> don't don't fly i see right? That'd be second. Holy smokes. You can't even see any of the grayness anymore. A little bit under there. Yeah, I mean, they have to reuse a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. So some of it's, you know, dirty, but this thing that's isn't caked with, no, with, that's with an new. inch thick of garbage. That's all new looking down in there. You can see the gray cool in there. Sweet, man. It's actually a V8 now instead of a V5.5. <laughs> That's cool. Oh man, well we gotta get in and start this baby up. Let's do and it. And the shocks work too. Another yeah, good that video. Flied, flew, flied open. It flied right open. Flew open. Oh yeah, watch it. Jasper, limited nationwide warranty and available mm -hmm. premium service plan. <laughs> premium, you know it's better when it says premium. Okay man, here we go. <laughs> Did you hear how much faster that yeah. <laughs> turned, turned over? over? Way faster. Before it was like, rrr, rrr, rrr. oh, airbag, airbag. What's that mean? I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't pop out at me <laughs> or it, mine. That's headlights, apparently. There we go. Wipers. I think such. I have new wipers for this at home. That's good. They look like they could use some new wiperage. Oh, it's set on high power. Okay, that all works. That's that's a pretty loud fan. Yeah. Apparently it doesn't matter where I set the fan at. Oh. <laughs> okay, well how's it feel to be uh, starting this baby for the first time? Well, uh, it's uh, interesting. Let's see how it goes. Yeah. Look at this fancy wood grain. Put the best for me. We're already on an incline, so we're gonna test that out. Wow. Nothing. Oh, it's got heated seats. I'm gonna turn that on. They have high. a reputation for possibly burning the car down. The seats? Yeah. So, are you but, saying I shouldn't turn it on, or we uh, just? I don't know. If it starts feeling really warm, turn it off. <laughs> so, Tom got a little bit of uh, news, a little bit of information about um, the not the engine. The engine's good. We're all good there now. But uh, but some other noises that we heard. Whoop! How are the brakes, by the way? Uh. Did that want to pull on you? Seemed like maybe it did. I'm not sure. I just wanted to not slam into a Subaru that hit their brakes suddenly out of nowhere without yeah. using a turn signal or anything. I agree. And we're supposed to be listening for some sound. So apparently they said some little bit of sound in the rear axle. Yeah, he said that he heard like axle noise when he was accelerating or decelerating maybe. And I hear a front. What was in the front? CV. In the front, the CV axle, he said he heard a lot of clicking when he was turning. Clicking, okay, so we gotta check that out. That's what it happens in the project vehicle. There are unexpected. That's the sound he's talking about there. You hear that back there? Back to paying attention. So how's the acceleration? Feel smooth? Uh, it's okay, I'm not getting on it real hard because I don't want to break the uh, CV axles. No, and you know, CV it's a new choice. engine, but. I don't know if I should trust it or not. Or I know we don't. We don't. You're not familiar enough with the vehicle to. And that guy went really slow. Totally trust it. Yeah. Clickety well, clickety clickety. Yep, that's it. When it's turning. Okay. Confirmed. Well, let's do a little more driving around here and testing and get some parts, and then we'll uh, we'll come back. Okay. So, 
we were passing a whole bunch of tests. It started, that's good. The mechanics said it ran well. There's no problems with that, right? Yeah, so that's he, he good. said the engine was running really well. The transmission was functioning well. Transmission's functioning well, that's good. It's got an awesome 100,000, three year or 100,000 mile Three year, 100,000 miles. That's good. Challenge so, accepted. Challenge accepted. So gauges look good. There's no problem with the gauges except for the airbag. <laughs> it's just which telling is, me there's an airbag. Which is intermittent. I think it's just telling this, hey, you guys are good. There's airbags. Um, we were just discussing there is no backup camera. So he feels like I do in the Raptor because that camera is so... It got um, scuffed up a lot when I went through a car wash. One of ones that's not touchless. So don't do that but uh he knows what it's like now so we've also left turns don't give that noise but a right turn gave us but we were churning left when it was clickety click oh earlier. so we okay so we've, okay so we've confirmed the clickety click you can hear the sound in the back but we couldn't test all this before because it was running there was a major problem so now that the major problem is down now we get to start testing Minor problems. Minor problems and seeing what those are. Are you going to take this on the freeway? Sure. Ooh, we're going to take it on the freeway. Very exciting. We'll have to see if we can get it up to a certain mileage per hour and look at the tack. And the tack. Okay, so let's Doctor talk about that. Right that. So one of the things that we're talking about, the next part of this project, is taking this transmission that is a, it's a how many speeds right now? Four speed. It's a four speed and we're going to make it a five? Yeah. And we're not gonna change the transmission to doing it. How is that possible? Voodoo. Voodoo, you'll have to stay tuned to find out. We are not changing the transmission. We're gonna give it an extra gear. I'm pretty excited about this because if this works, that's wild. I mean, that is wild. So, but what we wanna do is we wanna check RPMs on the freeway. And so we can document that to see what the difference is when we go to a five speed. So we're about to pull on the freeway and see, see how, fast we, can how fast we can go, how the engine does and uh, if we survive. Okay, here we go. So you're supposed to be watching the uh, speedometer and tack tachometer. Yep. And I'm supposed to be watching for cars. Yep, we're supposed to be watching for cars. Merging the road. Okay, so tack at 60 is 20, no, it went down. Two, just under two. Wow. Okay, so I'm gonna get up to 65, okay, I hope. Okay, 65. And we're, what is that, like 19, 18, 19? It's hard to tell. That's 18-ish. So very important. So 65, fourth gear. I don't know what that sound was. That's the rear end sound he's talking about. Oh. That's deceleration. Woo, that's loud. Okay, so uh, rear, <laughs> rear-ish axle noise um, confirmed. Confirmed in a pretty big way. I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a bearing like in the Raptor, but it didn't happen until you let off. Right? That was weird. So, but documentation, uh, fourth gear, 65, I uh, like 18, 1800. So, how much will that drop if we get a fifth gear? Great question. Can't wait to find out. Quadra, quadra drive. Quadra drive. That's the fancy pants all thing where like it's supposed to be normally having all most of the torque going to the rear wheels, but then if the rear wheel starts slipping, then it applies more to the front wheels, and then it can sense whether the right or left is slipping more and apply really braking to the slipping one to help blah blah blah. I don't know. It's that it's magic. It's more voodoo. Is fancy. All right. Any closing thoughts, sir? How do you uh, like it? Um. It is going to need some work, but it's, you know, it's a project cool so far. It's way cool. And you finally achieved your dream of getting a 1999 <laughs> Jeep Grand Cherokee. It only took a little while. Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you want to see some of the other videos on this one, check them out. We'll put them at the end there. There's what, two other ones, three other ones at this point. We had a few things we had to figure out on this baby when we got it. When we thought we were buying something that only needed minor correction. <laughs> Minor correction, mind you. But I always that... expected that the bit had dropped a valve seat. Oh, oh, really? Yeah. Even when the guy was just like, 
just needs a tune up or something. Yeah. He, he was like, oh, it just has bad gas. Oh, like, yeah, okay. bad gas. I'm like, okay, drive it to my house. Oh, I think we're probably going to need to tow it. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> why tow it? Why? All right, thanks for tuning in. We'll throw some bloopers up if there are any. There almost always are at the end. And link some other videos. Stick around, check it out. On behalf of, did I even say who we were? I don't know. It's Uncle Jake and Dr. Torque. I apologize if you are new to the channel. <laughs> Have a look around. We love you. Take you out the fist of friendship. Whoop -ow. And there he is. See, dude. You want to record me driving away, right? I do. I do a big old smoky burnout, but I'd probably break the front axle. <laughs> probably would. Let's go. Quit yammering. Quit yammering. Shh, get stuck in the rabbit. No, oh, we might get stuck. No, no. Oh, turn drive. <laughs> I wasn't worried. I was we think it was spring load up or something. You know, it was a, was that the Mazda? It was Mazda. That was a stupid Mazda. Mazda CX-7. That is the worst vehicle I have ever owned. Mazda, give us a sponsorship. But there's a chicken over there. It's about to cross the road. I think in this case, the question is why wouldn't the chicken cross the road? Because well, it didn't want to die. I think it wants to cross the road, so it can go to Nom Nom. Go to Nom Nom. Oh, chicken, don't cross the road. Not worth finding out some answers. Uh, push the top button. Mm.